First of all, keep steps, rails, and stepping areas free from oil, dirt, snow, and ice. Secondly, always use a three-point stance when entering and exiting the machine. And thirdly, make sure you only walk on the machine's designated stepping areas. There's something else these machines have in common. Should the machine lose its balance and roll over, the cab is the safest place to be. Assuming you're wearing your seatbelt. You do wear your seatbelt, don't you? And never, I repeat, never jump from a moving machine. Now we have two links in the safety chain, a focused, protected, well-informed operator and a well-maintained machine. Now it's time for the third link, the workplace. Workplaces come in all shapes and sizes. And for everyone's safety on the job site, there are certain rules and regulations. There are government regulations as well as local rules for the job site that need to be known and followed. But rules alone can't protect us from hazards. There are some things we just can't control, such as the weather or other conditions where we have to adjust to the conditions at hand. We need to learn to anticipate danger and act accordingly. Working in a safe manner means being aware of a number of things. Before beginning your work day, it's important to make sure your machine is functioning properly. Do a walk around, paying special attention to the tires. Tires with too low pressure can cause instability. Make sure there are no loose articles in the cab that might obstruct your work. Adjust your seat. The steering wheel the lever control, etc., so that you're comfortable and ready to work. And of course, adjust the rear view mirrors for optimal visibility. Beep, beep. What if there was a device that could warn us each time a potentially dangerous situation was just around the corner? Technology is moving in that direction, but we're not there yet. However, let's assume that we had such a device now. How do you think it would react as we now go to work? Unfortunately, the risk warner hasn't been invented yet. For the time being, we have to rely on our own ability to foresee dangers, especially when we have limited vision. And especially when something, as in this case, goes wrong, and people don't act as they're supposed to. This man is, for some reason, under the impression that the loader is in the wrong place, and very insistent about it. But here comes the hauler. The operator sees the guys talking by the machine, gives a warning signal, and assumes that they heard him. The angry man is still angry 
and does not observe the hauler backing and starts to walk away. Hey, where's the second guy? Well, that was close. Whenever there's the slightest doubt as to how things look behind the machine when you're backing up, use a signal man. Even though we don't have that little magic warning system, there are technical solutions for backing problems. Your machine can be equipped with a backing camera, for example. A signal man can even be of help in the event of limited forward visibility. It's important for your co-workers to understand how your machine works. Take an excavator, for example. Both the front and back turns. It's very important for co-workers to keep a safe distance from a turning excavator. Likewise, it's absolutely necessary for them to be aware of how articulated haulers and loaders react when turning. <laughs> 